context. It's another, an, an, another um, concept by David Allen, and this one is really great. Uh, what is a context? It's a tool or environment. For example, a phone, computer, home, office, they're all contexts. Okay, great, but you still don't, don't know. Okay, let's, uh, so let's go like that. How about phoning, for example? Let's say you had a lunch in the middle of the day, okay? You had a very nice office work, you did some lots of, lots of things done, you went for lunch, lunch was great, but it was just too much. You can't move, you're back in the office, and you don't feel like doing anything. But then you say, hey, I have to call somebody, so just pick up the phone. But then you can click, for example, or check your phone context. So all the phone calls you have to make throughout your, all, your, all your projects, okay? You, you go and just say, yeah, hey, let's call all these people, then I have it all done, and you just start you have, you know, all, the, all your calls and just start calling people and just making things, uh, getting things done. So, as, again, you can see the, the practical vision of this. I mean, you have projects on one hand, but then you have context, a second dimension of all this. And it helps you really get things done. Because you can have context like, for example, shopping. You can do, do shopping for more many different projects. When you click on shopping, you see all the things you have to buy. So you just go buy everything for all the projects you have running. And not just, you know, one thing and just, oh, I forgot for this one. So you, you have everything in your one, uh, one, one place. Working with context in Nosby is very easy. Let's continue with the phone example. Here on my next actions, I have a phone context. You can see there are the small icons here. So um, I have to call folks. Let's click on the phone context. As you can see, I'm in the context section, phone. And here is the list of all the phone calls I have to make. And um, I can just do the one thing here, call folks. I can do all of them. I can reorder the, the, the actions in this context. And I can actually see how much time I would need for each of the phone calls and estimate how much time I would need totally for all the phone calls. So let's start calling people. You can also add context very easily. Just click on new context. Write the name of the context. You can add context description if you want. And choose an icon for the context. Let's choose this one. And as you can see, your context has been created. I can also reorder my context if I want. And remember, the first context at the top of the list is your default context. When I click on it, here I can see my actions. I can also view notes in this context and files. You can add actions directly into your context. For example, use the quick action. Just write the action name, choose a project, a context, and just go and add. In Nosby, there is this magic arrow. Right now, it will add all my items at the top of my list. If I change it, it will add them at the very bottom. Let's try again. Use the quick action button to add actions at any time, anywhere, to any project, any context. As you can see, the concept of context helps to process many actions at a time when you're the most productive, with a tool at hand or in certain environment. Using context in Nosby is easy as you can manage your actions in context in a very similar way like you do it with projects.